Welcome back everyone. Today we find ourselves at the uh, Little Falls campground out just outside of Selma, Oregon. The last few days we watched my last video. We shot a beautiful morning of fresh fresh fallen snow from the night before. And right after that we ended up getting hit with some really good snow and I pretty much got stranded out there for a few days mainly because I didn't want to go down that steep road and all the snow we got we had like five or six five or six inches of snow in that day and a half so kind of hung out there for a few days because it got warmer up in the 40s and 50s melted most of it so that I could get back down and then we headed down to this place which was only about half hour from there but while we were there stuck in the snow might as well I went and enjoyed it and made us a snowman and snow angels harvey loved it we threw the stick around stuff for him and wrestled around but <clears throat> i went ahead and chose this place because it's lower elevation because starting tonight going into tuesday it's supposed to be a really good snowstorm coming through in a higher elevation especially where i was back there they're calling like up to 10 inches of snow and here i'm still hoping for snow we possibly might get around four inches or so so because right right down right down in the valley there's a big river crystal clear water big pools of water you can see straight to the bottoms a lot of it's it looks like it's about 10 feet deep and then they call it little little falls because down there on the bend there is a they call it a falls but it's more of a big cascade with big jagged rocks sticking out around it and that water just slamming up against it creating this like rapid white water rapid effects so i was kind of hoping we got snow last night but woke up the rain that sun keeps peeking in and out but here a little bit ago it was really wet rainy snow coming down but starting tomorrow morning i think we're supposed to get some snow going into tuesday so that's what I'm hoping for. So we can get down there around the river and hopefully there's some nice snow coverage on all the rocks and then the trees around it. If not, it's just kind of like this. I wasn't going to go out earlier today because it was really overcast. I do some woodland, woodland photography, which I really haven't done a whole lot, and maybe some macro. But hopefully there is snow tomorrow. If there's not, we'll wander around then and do some photography in the woodland, see what we can come up with. last night which I was hoping for it's not like that at the other location where it was that nice fluffy snow but it's more of a wet snow but it'll work um, so we just got here at the uh, Little Falls where I checked out yesterday so we did get the not as much snow on the rocks that I figured probably just keep stays melted from this black from it. But it's a little, a little bit tricky to get down here and get this thing all leveled out and all. But what I got framed up right now down here at the bottom of the frame you got this rock right here you got the cascade water coming down over. In the background you got the main the main 
waterfall or cascade. We've got one over here to the left. You probably can't, can't see too well. But that's a, that's a shot I'm going, going with right now. Still probably going to get some detailed shots of just the water. Got my polarizer on to kind of cut, cut down with wetter reflections I can and slow down that water as much as I can. I'm, I wasn't intended on trying to get that smooth water look, but I want to slow it down a little bit where it's not just hard, sharp, hard, sharp, frozen water. So let's grab a couple shots and see what we come up with and, and then see what other photo opportunities there is in this location before we move on. So let's get to it. shot came out nice the difficult part about this shot was right to the right in my frame there's a rock at an angle that has snow on it Ooh, slippery but so if I was to zoom too far out I really wanted to get more to the right of this main rock in the front one with the line on it get more of that cascade going over but that rock to the right of it with the snow creeps in just in the corner and it's just too distracting. But I was able to shoot at half a second, so it was just enough to get that nice blur of the water, but not too much where it takes away the, the real motion of it. So I think that shot came out real nice. I'm gonna frame up a couple other shots. So while I do that, I hope you, hope you enjoy the photo I just took. and reposition just about two feet to my left right here in the foreground because this water out here is just crystal clear like I was seeing yesterday you can see straight to the bottom right in the front of my camera here there's like pretty much like a small small pool of water where you can see the rock right through the bottom so again I framed it up but I wanted to show pretty much get the be able to show how clear that water is so get that polarizer take out all the reflections to be able to show what's in the bottom of that water and still get the cascades and that smooth flow of the water in the background and the jagged rocks in the back so pretty sure that one came out pretty nice so I hope you like this one too that last photo I showed you off out here yeah that one right there it's kind of by itself right in the real white rapid part of the part of the falls or cascade so I just I just seemed in real tight as I could get with my 70 to 300 and I pulled it up or jacked up the 16 ISO to get as much much softness as I could could with that this time now, but the thing came out really nice. So I'll, that, I'll throw that up right after this. So we're going to go ahead and carry on and see what else we can find. Further down the river, there's also almost like another cascade, more of a real rough part of the river. So it might make our way down there great thing about today is one I didn't have to usually I'll get up at five get out to my location before that sun comes up but since it's just cloudy and overcast today I didn't have to worry about that it's just, just nice diffuse everything evenly lit with diffused light so it makes it perfect just to wander around in the woodland and the 
river and rocks. I was hoping for a little bit more snow on the on the trees. Some have fallen off. This morning I woke up, all that heavy wet snow every now and then would just fall off the tree and slam into the top of my camper. But so I was hoping a little bit more than that. But I'll take what I can get. So pack up, head on down the river some more, see if we can grab a couple shots down there. And I'll see you there. Hope you enjoy this shot. Another boulder right in the middle that I'm going to take a shot of too. I don't know how that one will turn out, but we'll walk further down here so that we can kind of shoot up at it. So, so I'm going to take a few shots all around. It's kind of starting to get really misty. It was starting to rain a little bit. The temperature's going to be higher today. All that snow starting to melt, it's real slushy, and it would have been really nice to have that nice powdery snow, nice thick powdery snow. Um, I would have walked through a lot of the woods or whatever. But my main my main subject I came here from this campground was those the little falls, and then yesterday I saw this, so that's really what I was going for. And with the, the light the way it is, it's real cloudy and overcast, these I like how these are coming out. There's, when, I, when you're shooting water, even with a polarizer, that sun's too strong. It just bright highlights all over it. So with this, it's nice and smooth lighting. So we'll get on with it, see what I can come up with, and I'll be back with it.
spots up there where I started and I went ahead and moved down to this other other big rock in the middle that I was talking about I went ahead and threw my 70 to 300 on I just wanted to mention the 70 to 300 real quick because a lot of people are probably like, what's that cheap looking thing oh it is cheap but I'm taking some really nice photos with it I'll throw a couple up right here some of my favorite photos have been taken with this lens I bought, I've had it a good eight years. I mean, I want a new one, a nice 7200, something like that. Uh, but for a while, I just didn't really have the money to splurge on a nice, expensive lens. But I mean, it's awesome. This also, I the macro, macro switch, switch to macro. I've taken some nice macro shots. Here's one right here, a flower I took of. But I just want to throw it out there because I think I gave just over 300 or just under. I'll look it up. I'll throw the price up and I'll put a link to it. If you're interested in checking it out down in the comments below. The only downside is with my polarizer, I ain't got a ring that's small enough. I'm probably just going to look online uh, for this. That's why you always see me hand holding the polarizer in front of it. But for like 300 bucks, I mean the lens has been really nice. Um, the only thing is when you zoom all the way in at 300, you start getting some vignetting even probably around 250 millimeter. But a lot of photos I end up adding a vignette anyway, so it doesn't really, it doesn't really hurt me that much. Um, it's probably not going to be the sharpest lens in the world, obviously. but. I'm taking some real nice uh, photos with it. You're gonna have to look really closely to find out, oh, that's not 110 sharp. So, like I said, I like it, it works for me. I'll upgrade at some point, but I just wanna throw it out there. Because yeah, it looks just a uh, sig Sigma, Sigma APODG is what it is. But for the price, not a bad little lens but anyway I digress so I went ahead and grabbed that shot came out really nice I went ahead and went with the low low shutter speed I, I really like the way it looks with it really super soft so in order to get that because it got a little brighter out I stopped down or put my uh, my aperture there you go my aperture up to F16, F18, and I went all the way up to F22. Well, I got to cut in here because in the middle of doing that, for some reason, the camera went haywire. Uh, there was a black part of the video, and then after that, all the sound just got way off sync. It was just all over the place. So, <clears throat> first off, I want to touch on the lens. I ended up not putting a link to it just because when I went back and checked the link, um, from where it was coming from and it wasn't you couldn't get in prime and I I think they discontinued the lens so I, I'm not gonna post any type of links or anything that I personally won't order from so sorry about that it is a nice decent lens if you're interested you can find them on eBay actually used for around 60 or 70 dollars I paid up around 300 years ago but and then right after that, what I was trying to explain is as far as that last shot I took of the river, <clears throat> I did stop all the way down to like F22, even though it's not the sharpest part of the lens. But since I was shooting so slow and blurring that water out, it's not wasn't really affecting it at all. So I like the way that came out as far as shooting real slow, almost like a painting feeling. But and then shortly after that, like right as I was finishing up, the rain started coming. It got cold, real slushy, wet snow coming down, and it's just turned into a miserable day. So, did walk away with some nice photos. I'll throw the last two up at the end here, and just kind of finish it, finish it right there. So, I just want to thank you for all you for watching, and. Next time we, next time I see you, 
I should already have hopefully one or two videos, at least one more video of the Pacific Coast. Because right, as of right now, yesterday I just got to the Pacific Coastline in Oregon, most southwestern part of Oregon, just across from California. So, really looking forward to that. I've been really looking forward to always, I've always wanted to go to the, the West Pacific Coast and I took a walk around and I can't wait to get, get the shooting and do a couple of videos here. So with that being said, thanks for watching again and we'll see you in the next one.